apologize. Uh, we cut that segment off very quickly because my phone was ringing. Anyway, I was talking about this last row that I'm going to put on. And I, you already saw about the seagrass and everything. So this is where I ended the last row. Again, I turn it to the next side. So this actually is a piece of flat oval. You don't have to use the flat oval. It's just the width that counts. So I'm just going to weave that in exactly the same way. I'm only going to end it a little bit differently, and I will tell you why. Now, usually I will have the basket in my lap, weaving with it with a towel at this point in time, because I'm sitting down lower than this, and when I have to get up, it I just don't have quite the advantage in the leverage. So I usually weave, like I said, with in my lap. What we're going to do differently here is when you overlap this, you just go over those two. Then we're going to do something a little differently because there is like a bump here because this is flat oval. So I'm going to go to the inside. This one's going to be cut off. And I'll cover that in the next segment. This is going to be underneath. Keep in mind that the rim is going to be covering this with another quarter of an inch. So I want a really nice smooth overlap. So this is a cut that carpet installers will do. And you just kind of go in at an angle and snip through both of them. What, when it comes in handy to have these really sharp shears. See, even with those, there was a little piece there. So you can see how these were angle cut. This is how the seams in your carpeting will lay. So that will meet, and that overlap just a tiny bit, and that's okay. So then when I put that in there and it's not overlapped, now you can see how this lays more smoothly. So this is uh, the this is the end of doing our last row. And in the next segment, we will cover the next step. So join me, please.